For Courtney and Chris Laidler, family is everything. Come show dad what truck does. And there's a lot of love to give with this family of eight. Cooper is our uh, sixth baby, our last baby. The Laidler's crew grew by one during the pandemic. We had him at, on the day of the shutdown during uh, the pandemic, and he was born um, six weeks early. He's been our baby that we got to spend the most time with because of being home from uh, COVID. Cooper kept this family on their toes during the lockdown, and this ball of curly haired energy has been a fighter from day one. I don't remember noticing anything super different than our other kids. So we kind of just would say, well, you know, he'll catch up by the time he's two. Um, and just, we just kept saying that until um, he started to not respond to his name ever. We would scream it at him. We would like, we would try to say it funny. We would try all kinds of different ways to get his attention. Um, and so initially we thought he was deaf. Doctors found serious blockage in his ears, but after surgery, Courtney and Chris knew things still were not right for Cooper. We ended up being sent to neurology. It was about a two, three hour appointment um, that they told us he was autistic. And um, I had to get them to repeat it a couple times because I almost just didn't, it was so shocking. Um, <laughs> Reeling from a life changing diagnosis, Courtney and Chris immediately got to work to get their baby boy the help he needed. He went from being what we thought was a little bit lower on the spectrum to he was now considered a level three, which is the highest um, and needs the most significant support. Cooper has had to adapt to a world not designed for him and his family had to adapt as well. It's a very long, hard process. Um, to get help for kids with autism, unfortunately. Now this family is hoping to grow again, not with fingers and toes, but with paws and tails. We had been around a family that had a service dog um, for their child. Um, he has what is like autism. It's not exactly diagnosed the same, but just like it. Um, and it's completely changed their life. The family applied for and was accepted through the Four Paws organization, which helps those with disabilities by placing life-changing service dogs with them. The dogs just cost a, a lot, um, tens of thousands of dollars. I think they can go upwards of $80,000 um, for a single dog. But thanks to volunteers and angle donors, the Laidler family still needs $20,000 to get a service dog for Cooper, a steep financial burden for any family. We're very thankful for the donors that, you know, took that huge portion um, away from us to where we weren't responsible for that. And so now we just try our hardest to get the rest of it through a lot of fundraising, a lot of word of mouth. The fundraising has been a family affair, and they're not looking for a handout, but rather a paw up. It would be huge for our family, um, for Cooper. Yeah. First and foremost, it would be huge for Cooper. Um, his life would be so different. The dog basically works as a, a live weighted blanket, just a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and fluffier. It would just be absolutely life-changing for all of us. Oh. To be able to feel confident again, to take him places and not be scared that he's going to run away from us. If you would like to help Cooper get his service dog, you can donate online. Just head to unfilteredwithkieran.com. You'll find all the information there. With Unfiltered with Kieran, I'm Kieran Chawla.